Okay, five things to know before you start your intensive or before you go much further along in the digging and deciding if an intensive is right for you. Number one, intensives are an investment. As I've said before, they are an investment both in time and financially. If you aren't capable of taking out a fairly good chunk of time, maybe that's one day or maybe that's three days, then probably not going to be so helpful for you. I don't mean to discourage you, but if you're not able to be fully present for the day or days that you have booked for your intensive, again, whether that's one day or three days and you do three hours on each of those three days, but in that time, it's really helpful to be totally present. Otherwise, ah, you're going to be really distracted and doing a little bit of spinning your wheels. So that means clearing the decks in terms of potentially child care or elder care or making sure that you've got your meals prepped and ready to go, making sure that the errands you need done are done, making sure that you're not going to be interrupted by work. Boundaries might be one of the things that we work on, and it's really important during our time that you are present for our time. So that also goes again for the financial piece, because it's also an investment not only of time, but the financial piece. So making sure that when you decide to make that investment, that it feels financially right for you. I don't want to get you into a place where you feel like you're spending money and now, oh my gosh, I've got to make the most of it. I want you to feel like this is something that works well for you. Okay, so that's one. Number two, in terms of what you need to know before your first intensive. You need to know that at least when you work with me, you're going to be doing it virtually. For a variety of reasons, I have found that virtual works a heck of a lot better than most people would ever guess. And one of those reasons is that it takes away that barrier of how do I get there? Where do I park? It's too far away. Oh my goodness, she's here, I'm there. That doesn't happen. I'm licensed in five states. And if you are living in Florida or Vermont or Maine, and you still want to do an intensive with me, it's easy peasy. We set aside the time, we sit down in our comfortable settings, and we work together. Okay? So that, that piece gets taken away, and it makes it, again, easy peasy. Another thing to know is that intensives are going to ask you to do work in advance and obviously while you're with us. And then when you're done, we're going to ask you to get involved and to do some pieces so that you can really begin to synthesize the information and synthesize the skills into a format that works for you. And at least when you work with me, we'll have a follow-up session to make sure that you feel like you're on a good and right path. Another thing to know, so number four, intensives are not meant to be a replacement for or um, an audition for a new therapist. Oftentimes I work in adjunct with your regular therapist, with your regular weekly therapist. So people come to me because they have a, a hurdle that they need to clear more quickly than maybe weekly sessions. Maybe you feel like you need weekly sessions for the support, but that hurdle feels like it needs to be dealt with sooner rather than later. Or maybe it's a topic that your therapist is not as skilled in as maybe I am. Honestly, if I weren't skilled in a topic, I wouldn't be working with you. But not all therapists are skilled in all topics, nor, by the way, should we be. So if there is something that your therapist doesn't feel comfortable in, and I do, I'm more than happy to talk to you about how we can make that work. And number five. Intensives are here for you. I know they seem perhaps new or they seem a little bit odd or different, but I promise they're really helpful. They're really good. There's a beginning body of research that tells us that not just from work around intensives for couples or trauma, but for a lot of topics. Again, part of that magic comes because we're sitting together for a longer period of time to work something through. I hope that's helpful to you. If you have questions or if you're interested in exploring the intensive with me, I'm Lisa Curtis. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and credentialed alcohol and substance abuse counselor. Please feel free to drop me an email or give me a call. I look forward to talking to you soon. 
In the meantime, I wish you the very best for your day. Bye.